Hey guys, welcome back to another video with the Tronche here. Um, so today the game we have is called Afterlife, a story of a father. So I, it's on the game's from Steam. It is free, and they had pretty good ratings, and I just got it to try it out. And so the most, the, like the whole, technically the whole story game, is you are a guy named Rick, and you were a father. You died in the 90s. And you were brought back to like Earth as a spare, like that little you see you see this little like dot right here? That's us. Maybe that's our soul or something. And you were brought back and you get to see how you were how your family saw you before you died and how they see you after you after you died. And how they're coping with your death, you know? Since every and everybody copes differently with death. So it's just seeing how they cope with your death, you know? Um they did say in the little like in the game not in the game like before this whole game they just say um what is it? <laughs> i'm so sorry I have, I have such a shitty memory oh god oh <laughs> the main focus of this game is the storyline do not challenge the experience it's what they had typed in but yeah i saw this game and i thought it would be pretty fun so afterlife a story of a father. So let's just let me just see real quick. Our sensitivity fuels you. Let's go ahead and do graphics higher, lower graphics. I don't. Wait, why did the stars disappear? Uh, higher sensitivity. Let's go middle, back. Okay. Yeah, all the stars disappeared. I don't like that. Ooh, there's chapters. We're doing videos in chapters, okay. Recalling thoughts. Oh, my bad. When I lived, I provided for everything but death. But I must die. I didn't see that, I'm so sorry. You guys can pause it. Green Sawdust presents. Oh, my mouse is in the way, my bad. All I didn't want to talk, it's just... Interesting story. They didn't have an uh, option for subtitles. Oh shit, I, I- Oh, he crashed. Oh, that was not his day, huh? Damn, okay. Is there anything I can do? What? What is this? What is this place? Anyone? Hello? Hello? You've died, my friend. Oh. What? What happened? Where am I? Well, you died. It seems I've been sudden, seeing you're already surprised. I'm... I'm dead? Yes, but don't think too much of it. People come and go all the time. You did live a wonderful life, though. Shana, how is she? My family, how is my family? They're fine. The news haven't reached them yet in that time. I'm sure they will mourn over you. Well, what happens now? Do, do I go to heaven or, or what's the deal? See, that's the thing, Rick. Rick, that's what they called you in that time, right? Yeah, that, that's me, yeah? You can't go onward right now. You see, you're not supposed to be here yet, Rick. I was expecting you to arrive in 12 years. Not today. Something must have happened to your body. 12 years? What do you mean by that? That's what we agreed upon back in the day. But that's not important now. You're here now, and it seems your body is no longer usable. I don't think you can use it anymore. It's just a vessel without a house. 
What do you mean by all this? You're not making any sense. Who are you, anyway? I'm a friend of yours. A passerby who was stopped for a meet and greet. A new neighbor, so to say. Is that even an answer? You're... You're not making any sense. Let's just agree for now. I don't have a name. Are you fine with that? For now? Well, alright. I don't have much choice, do I? So, what are we supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? We don't have too many choices here, Rick. Come find me here in the middle, and we'll figure something out. He certainly can't stay here. Sure, but uh, how how do I move? Just think about walking like you did on Earth, and you'll move in the most natural way possible. If you think of running, you'll move a little bit faster. Like shifting up a gear. Alright then, um, thanks, I guess. Oh, okay. Use the left mouse button or left stick. Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, so right, right is to go faster. Hold both mouse buttons to go faster. Right bumper, left stick on the controller will make you move faster. Conversation similar to this will slow you down. Okay, so that's really cool, okay. Hmm. I died. And I guess, so, from the talk that we just had right now, I get that we met before. That we had an agreement before, apparently. And that uh, I'm here early. Wow. Blinking, hold the right mouse button or right bumper and turn to use blink when you're not in conversation. I think you can create the bright visual notif notification on all important objects in your area. Oh, I see. Oh, what the hell? Look at the moon! Find a memory nearby? Floating memory particles often gather in small groups like this. Fly into it to listen to the memory. I'm gonna fly into it, alright? This is really cool. Look, look behind me, though. It's the moon. Is that supposed to be Earth? That's so cool. Okay, so apparently, okay, I don't even know if this is like God or something, but there's like some being that I met before. And apparently, if I hold the right lift, you'll see something shining. Oh, is it that? I don't think it's that. Oh, I saw fire. Why? Oh, what was that? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Why is that fire? What is that fire? I'm gonna run into this little thing though. Faster. It doesn't even feel like I'm moving a lot, actually. Am I supposed to go there? How's my life then? When, when will I see a flash before my eyes? What do you mean? You didn't see it? No. No. <laughs> But I've heard everyone who's been near the event says they see their life pass before their eyes. I didn't. I just arrived here. How do people react to my passing? What happened to everyone? That's my daughters, Susan and Sylvie. Can I meet them? Can I meet them here and now? No. No, not yet. They're not ready yet. You might meet them at some point, but not as Susan and Sylvie as you know them. I see. Wait, what do you mean? The thing you said earlier, you said you didn't see life pass before your eyes. Wait. What do you mean? Yeah, that didn't happen to me. Oh, that must be the reason then. Listen, you should be able to witness your life one way or another. That is, if you have the strength and desire for it. Of course I have. I want to see it. I'm sure I forgot more things than I can remember. <laughs> well, go towards that light and think of Earth. Think of your life and think of people around you. 
since there's life left in you, you should be able to visualize memories and environments around you. I'm not sure how it works. I haven't looked back myself. My life wasn't much of a story, to be honest with you. Sure. Let's do this. So, I'll just go towards the light, yeah? And, and start thinking, is that it? How long do I have down there? Will I be able to say goodbye? Will you be there? I don't know. I just said I haven't gone back myself. Also, I can't be tracked into your past as I haven't been in it. Go along now. I'll see you here in a bit. I'm gonna go see what that shining thing is. Oh, there's fires. What is this? I don't know what these are. They're gone. What is that? I want to go see that. What is shining? I'm so confused. What am I supposed to go towards? Like, he said, like, hold down this button and you'll see shining things that go brighter. But I see these fires, and what are these fires supposed to be? Am I supposed to go to them? But then they disappear. And then there's this one over here that shines constantly, but I don't know if I'm supposed to go to it or not. See? See? This. What is this? What is this? You guys see it? Yeah, see? It's right there. What is this? What do I do with it? I don't think it's anything. It's just a, I think it's just another soul. Let's just go over here. For now, I'm just going to ignore those little things. Focus on the story. But damn. Okay, so... Yeah, whoever this being is, he's letting, they're letting me go back. And not back, but my memories. And apparently, I didn't see my memory... My life flash before my eyes. And this guy sounds young. He sounds like he died like around like eight, between 30 to 20. And... Yeah. Wow, okay. So far, it's been pretty great. I've been, I got a little confused on the storyline. But I feel like this is going to be a great little part, recalling thoughts. Alright, for, ah, what happened? There we go. Oh, look at this the graphic. This isn't the park. Is it? Hello? Hello, are you there? Oh, that's right. Yeah. He can't hear me unless I focus on him. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Okay, anything shining brighter than usual? There's these over here, what are these? There's fire things, these blink too low- Oh, these are memories! Oh! Rob. Okay. It's my brother. My little brother, Rob. <laughs> oh, the ladies, man. Oh. Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, where are you off to? To the horse fair in the village. Cool. I'm sure everyone's there. Speaking of the fair, look who I met down there. Rick, this is Fiona. Fiona, this is my big brother, Rick. Fiona's dad owns a ton of horses. And we sort of happened to meet back there. You know, you should really try riding one. It's not that hard, you know. But it'll just get harder for you the longer you keep avoiding it. Maybe you should ask Fiona's sister, Shauna, for some help. Mm. Oh well. Anyhow, we're off home. I wanted to show Fiona Mum's stallion before she has to head back to her hotel. Oh hey, if you see your dad, you never saw us. Right, brother? That's so sweet. Oh, okay, so he met Shauna from his brother and Fiona. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Oh, okay, there's one over here. What is this one over here? Oh, okay, I have to go, like, I have to follow the trail. Oh, that's cool. It's cool, but I kind of wish you let me just go through the forest, too. Okay, let me see. I'm lost. There's one over there. Can I go through the trees, maybe? 
Oh, I can. Okay, so apparently he just didn't let me because I was probably hitting something. What's this one? It's a guitar. Rob again. Rick? Hey, big brother. Hey, man. How, how's it going? I haven't seen you in ages. We should really meet up for a pint and a catch-up soon. You could come down to my local. Shane has the finest selection of local drafts around. Wonderful stuff. Uh, how's Shauna? She's expecting, right? Yeah, that's great. I uh, wonder how Fiona's doing these days. What? No, I'm not going to call her. I'm with Hannah now. She's my world. Speak of the devil, here she is. Hannah, meet my big brother Rick. I haven't seen him in, what, three years now? He's going to be a daddy soon. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's really exciting. Look, we have to run now. There's a new film at the cinema. It was wonderful to see you again. I'll do my best to come by someday, but you do know how things are with me and Mum. It might take a while. Well, see you later, Rick. Take care now. No, wait. They're drifting apart, no. Okay, so Fio they broke up, Fiona and him. But I guess Sean and Rick still met through them, which is kind of nice, but like... Rick and... Rick and... Not Rick, what's his name for his brother? Bobby? Rob. Rob broke up with Fiona. I can't find anything else, so I just like... Let's go over here. I remember there was one over here, that, but I couldn't get to it. That's sad. That's, that's sad to think about. Oh, yeah, see? It's like, it won't let me through. Let's see, anything else? Ah, why am I keep on doing that? Okay, let's just go, let's just go. That's where Rob and Fiona met. This is a really nice scenery. This is so cool. Look at it. This looks like an actual park. I would love to come here one day. I would love to visit a place like this, at least, actually. This one over here. Ah, there's the trees. I'm gonna search again. Hold up, give me a minute. Okay, there we go. Over here. This is so cool, though. I like how they let me fly away, all the leaves fluttering through. Oh, there's the picnic. The picnic. Shauna. Just feeling it. Hmm. It's my wife, Shauna. Look at it. It's such nice weather today, isn't it? Yeah, it I is. could stay outside forever on days like this. Just the perfect weather for a picnic, isn't it, Rick? Rick. What do you do? <gasps> yes! Yes! Oh my lord, yes, I will marry you, Rick Denny! <laughs> Nothing could make me happier right now than spending my life with you. Thank you, Rick. You've made me so happy. I will never, ever forget this feeling. Oh, I'm so happy. This day couldn't get any better than this. Oh, Rick. I love you so much. I love you more than anything in the whole wide world. My dear boyfriend... <laughs> no, my perfect fiance. Get up and kiss me already. <laughs> That's so sweet. Oh, he proposed here. Props, though. I mean, look at the spot he picked. It's so beautiful here. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. But back to this topic. There's something I want to talk about. Hold up. Closer to the ground. More a little bit this way. But look at this. The graphics are literally so good, I could read the book. The Lancashire Witches 1612 to 2012. Not long, not long after the, but yeah, the, the Lancashire residents were found guilty of witchcraft and hung in August 6, 1612. The official proceedings of the trials were published by the clerk of the court, Thomas, in the wonderful discovery of witches in the court of Lancaster. Lancaster. 400 years on, Robert 
pool reflects on England's biggest wish trial and is still revel, revel and it still has relevance today. See, look at it. These are good graphics. I could read the book. That is so great. Look at it. Oh my god. I just this is such a nice story, but I have I love the fact that I could read the book. 400 years ago. Oh, it's so lovely. I love it. Well, that's a woodcut of which is for from Mathers. Okay, I like this game. I, I mean, I liked it already because of the storyline, but I love it even more now because they let me read the book. Not a lot of games do that. Because like, there's a game, there's a bo open book on the floor on the desk. And even though it's not a part of the game, they don't let you read it. Like, it's, just, it's like blurred out words, you know? But this game, even though that book's not a part of it, this game let me read the book. Oh, I love that so much. Okay, let's search for more. What's over here? No! No! I'm not ready! We used to come here all the time. Oh, okay. Rob, Shauna. We sat on a bridge so many times. Oh, this is such a cool place. Look at it! Oh, it's so beautiful! I wonder if I can go in the water. I cannot. Ah, it won't let me. Oh, look at the flowers! Oh, I love it. I love how- I like how- I love the art of this game. Let me quickly use this real quick. Where was that? There we go. There's one over here. It was there one over here too? Let me check real quick. This one, let's go to this one first. It's Shauna. Yay, Shauna! You know, I didn't always believe this day would come. Back in the day, sharing things from my past frightened me. And I often thought they would frighten him even more. I wasn't very proud of it. Because our relationship had so many kilometers in between, I decided to keep most of it hidden. Just to play it safe, you know? Yeah. I knew I loved him from the beginning, and just couldn't risk losing him to something silly like distance and unnecessary doubt. I still remember how scared I was to face him. Because, you know, these things from my past might change everything between us. Or so I believed. Yet after I told him, he simply looked at me, smiled widely and asked, Is this what's been bothering you all this time? From that moment onwards, I just knew I would always be safe around him. That's so sweet. Man, I feel bad that this guy died now. <laughs> At first I'm like, oh no, he died, too bad. But now I'm like, oh, he has such a good life. Hold on, let me search over here too. Is there anything? Okay, there's one over. Ah, I want to get all of these in the back first. And then start working my way to the middle, you know? Look at the trees though, I love it. Ah, let me search again. Where is it? Ah, oh, God, it's so far. Oh, no, okay, I guess I. Oh. Wait, what? Where is it? Yeah, it's over there. Oh, is that like... Oh, I think those might be memories of another part. Okay. So I gotta get each one from here first. That's so sweet, though. Oh, I love it. Look at the graphics. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna keep on talking about the graphics and like the art quality of this game. And look at it. I mean, don't you just love it too? Look at it. But where do I go next? I'm lost. Hold on. Give me a minute. Over there. I went through. Oh yeah, I'm a spirit, huh? I forgot. Oh, I went through a tree. What's over here? A boat. Ooh. Hi. Oh, I wasn't close enough, I bet. Shauna again. Let me roll it for you. People often say that marriage is hard work. Most often, people make that a reality. 
I don't really understand it. Or more like I can't relate to that statement. I've never felt being married was a challenge. Far from it. From the moment you kneeled before me and asked the greatest question in English language, my life became easier and lighter. We loved each other since the beginning, but as time passed, we really learned to love each other. So many couples think they're the same, yet they aren't. I know this is more than that. I know it just by seeing others communicate and try to cope with their everyday lives. I'm not saying there hasn't been uphills on the way, but every single one of them felt manageable. Not even once did I feel that the world would crush over me. Maybe that's because you've always been there for me. With you, I've always felt strong and confident about myself. You are my safe place, my rock and roots. That's so sweet. I love it. I love Chana. Oh, I love it. I love this storyline so much already. You're gonna see me smiling a lot. Cause I love it. Oh, there's another one here. Let's see what this is. The park is so quiet without animals or people. I wonder why I can't see any. You don't have eyes. <laughs> That's my answer. You don't have eyes. Okay, let's see. Any else? And you were near my vicinity. Oh, there's one over there. I didn't see it. I don't think I saw it actually. Oh, I love it. A lot, of, a lot of it's gonna be roaming around. I'm trying, I'm trying to find it. My bad. Let me see where is it. Maybe that one really far away. I don't think I'm gonna go after it. It is. Yeah, it still hasn't showed up, man. It was literally over here. Okay, I guess we go this way. Ooh, look, there's a plant growing here. Oh, those flower. Oh, those are flowers. I thought they were just little like um, what's it called? What are those bug called? Um, night flies? No, not night flies. Oh wait, I was here already. We circled around already. Okay. Yeah. I'm sending out a signal. There's this one over here, that's about it. That's the only one then. See, there's a little place where I pose. The bridge. Yeah, this is the bridge. Right here. What was it? Was it not? Was it? It wasn't anything. There's more to this park over here. I'm so lost. Sending out signal. Ooh, look at this little place. So I learned that if you hold on to the right mouse button longer, the signal goes longer too. So really you can hold on to it forever and like it will go on forever. Okay, where is it? Okay, I guess I can't see it anymore. It was here. Hmm, I'm so lost already. I don't know what to do else. I can't find anything else. 
And I'm pretty sure I already discovered most of them. Yeah, did I? I'm pretty sure I did. See, I already passed this fern. I can recognize that fern from anywhere. See, there's a, we're at the lake again. What the heck? How do I get out of here then? There's more to this. I just don't know how to find it. Oh, this is such a beautiful lake. What's that little sunshine spot right here? What is this? Oh, that's just the land. Okay. Oh, I love roaming through the flowers. <laughs> Look at it. So cute. Oh, okay. I'm sorry if I'm like giving you like... I'm sorry if you don't like it. <laughs> but it's just so cool. I wonder if I can just go straight into the air and see anything from above. Anything? Over there. Let's go. Oh, look at the trees. I love this so much. You won't hear me say anything else about other than I love this so much already. The storyline is great. I love how it's going along. <gasps> there it is. Oh, what's this? Hey, Olf. Mom? It's the mom. Is that you? What, really? Oh, my boy Rick, don't you worry about that. I know things used to be tough between us, and I'm sorry about that. It was never my intention to have your childhood as rough as it is. Please, don't blame your father for it. It's not his fault what happened to his company. Your father wanted you to grow big and strong like he was. He needs you to take care of your little brother and help him become whatever he wants to be. <sighs> I think I know what you're feeling. Ever since you were a little boy, you've been living with so many unresolved things. Well, take it from an old lady like your ma. Those things can send you down the road. They make us who we are. They're the things that make each life, each individual, so different. And if anyone's destined for greatness, it's you, son. You will do great things in this world. With your strengths and thoughts, there's only gambler's luck that can push you over. You just have to figure out how to use them, and know that wherever they take you, I'll always be here for you. So go on, Rick. Take your little brother out to that park we saw the other day. Maybe you'll make some new friends while you're there. That's so sweet. I couldn't tell if that was the mom's spirit because she died, or it was something else. Oh, No! 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 That was... What's happening? I had such what a is good this? time there. Oh, there's part two. Okay. You can't stay out there for that long, you know? It trains your willpower. If you stay too long, you might lose yourself completely. But I hardly an ending. Was that it for me? I heard all these... All these thoughts and conversations, but... I'm not sure how to take it all in at once. Why... Why were these parts so important in my life? What makes them more important than anything else? How would I know? That's your life, Rick. Your family. Your loved ones. That's my family, alright. So, so what happens now? Despite time passing differently in here, you still have many years to spend before you can proceed to your next life. You shouldn't have any unresolved matters before going to the light for the last time. I heard it can cause trouble. Heard? Heard from who? There was another soul here not too long ago. It, it seemed rather simple-minded, like, but somehow funny, like, like a wise old man. Was that my dad? So, wait, you're saying now if I enter the light when I'm, I'm out of time and energy, well... Well, still not sure of if if I want to forget everything and move on, I'll, I'll be in trouble? In layman's terms, yes. You need to make peace with yourself, or your new body might not accept your soul. I don't know, it, it seems pretty simple to me. Right. Well, that means I've no choice. 
No choice but to focus harder. I need to know. I need to know what happens to my family. Off you go then. I'll snap you out right if you stay too long. Can't lose you this early now, can we? Alright. That was... That was good. That's all I'm gonna say. That was really good. I loved it. I loved I loved the first part. This is the second part. But we're stopping here for today. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to really go into it, but it's pretty late. <laughs> but anyways, I really loved the first part. I can't wait for the second part. It will probably be it will be one of the next videos. But I loved it. I hope you guys loved it too. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really loved how the storyline, how it's progressing so far. I, the art is just amazing. Oh god, I love the art so much. And I love... Uh, I, I'm gonna hang up on... I'm gonna hang on this. But I loved the fact that they let me read the book. The book was readable. I loved it. Alright, well thank you so much for watching guys. It was fun playing. Feel free to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. The Trunchy's logging out. Bye!